Many vacant storefronts in Lakeview and Roscoe Village are coming alive to celebrate International Women's Day, which is coming up Wednesday. Pop art Pop-up art exhibits are filling these spaces to showcase the work of female artists and to support women-owned businesses. The Small Business Administration says women make up 43% of small-owned businesses in this country. And we have two guests with us this morning to tell us more about these unique art installations. Eric Carlson is with the Lakeview Roscoe Village Chamber of Commerce, and then also we have artist and gallery owner Nez. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having us. So, Thank Eric, you. I want to start with you. Yeah. Um, these are empty storefronts on. Uh, Weather's warming up, foot traffic is increasing, so you're trying to reach more people, right? Yeah, so we have got a grant from the city of Chicago to do some a activations along storefronts on Belmont and Roscoe Village, and we have a six female artists who um, made more than like six uh, pop-ups, and it's really beautiful and interesting art that we have along Belmont. So these are on Belmont between Western and Ravenswood, Correct. right? Okay, yep. give us an idea of what we might see. Well, all the art is very unique, so Nez's art is much different than everybody else's, but you'll see um, some art along storefronts um, and like on windows and just to kind of brighten up the neighborhood, especially along vacant areas that we have. All right, Nez, so tell us a little bit about your background. You graduate from the uh, Chicago School of the Art Institute, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I did attend uh, the School of the Art Institute for a while. Um, after that, I just started working on my art personally, and then I started my gallery. Uh, it's been open for a year recently, so that's been really fun to just kind of like bring in other artists and feature them and also do my work and mural work and, and all of that. So you do paintings and murals and is it illustrations for books or what is that? Uh, yes, definitely an illustration style. A lot of it is mural work, so most of it can be found in Chicago, but also Oak Park, where I'm from, and some in Berwyn, where I grew up. Okay, and this is your, so tell us about what you brought with us. Yeah, so this is a good example of the type of art that I do. Um, this character is like a cereal box that I, um, it's like imagery that comes up in a lot of my paintings. Um, so it's really inspired by artists in Chicago that I grew up viewing, like, People in Pilsen, in Logan Square, you'll see a lot of people that have their own personal character. So this is my take on it. So this was from a cereal box? Is that what yeah, you said? Yeah, the, the character is uh, basically a cereal box, and that's like my own personal image that I like to bring up with my paintings. Okay, and what about this one here on my right? Yeah, same thing. So just cereal box characters in different situations and try, just trying to have fun with that. So events like this, how important is it? I mean, is the exposure really... Um, it really helps a lot, or are you trying to get your, your work out there to the attention of um, people just walking by, right? Yeah, it definitely does, especially since Belmont is like a main street. Um, I had a lot of people just like come by and say hi and see like what's going on and what's the mural going to be, wanting to take pictures. Um, it's really nice just to see the kids also get excited about the characters. Um, so yeah, it's just been a really fun experience. How important is it to celebrate women artists and women-owned businesses? It's very important, especially <laughs> especially in our neighborhood. We have a lot of uh, women-owned businesses. We have thirty-five, over, right? Is yeah, that right? Yeah, we actually have yeah. over more than forty own women-owned businesses just in Roscoe Village, which is a pretty small area in the city. Um, we have some products from those women-owned businesses as well. So um, it's really important to support women-owned businesses, women artists. Um, especially in this month of Women History Month. So. And so some of these businesses are offering specials with the proceeds going to charity. Tell us more Correct. about that. Correct. So one of, um, a few of our businesses on Wednesday and Tuesday for Women's International Women's Day um, are offering a percentage of their sales to women charities, um, especially Love Charlie, which we have some of their products here. Um, and then other businesses, such as Covington's Cabinet, um, which we have some of their products here, um, are doing like sales all month long for Women's History Month. So. Um, and they feature women, pro or women uh, made products. Um, so yeah. Okay, and these installations will be up what the entire month. Is yep. That right? So they've been up since November, but okay. they're going to be it's only the last month of our installation. So um, if you want to go see some of the art installations along Belmont, March is the month. So you should go see them as All soon right. as possible. Eric and Nez, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and uh, the installations can be seen at the addresses on your screen. And for more information on where you could see all of this artwork, you can visit the Lakeview Roscoe Village, uh, the website Lakeview Roscoe Village.